Need any outside distractions? Kevin Robinson here now. We can't have him looking out the window at rain here tomorrow, Kevin. We got to have something calm and easy. Well, that may come in the days ahead, but we've still got the threat for showers for those early students going to class tomorrow around the area. So here's a look at your weather headlines. Your Tuesday won't be a washout, but we've still got that little rain threat kind of dangling over our head here tonight through at least the first half of the day on Tuesday. So we got that lingering shower threat, but as you experienced and most of you saw this evening, a lot of you didn't see anything. It's really kind of random. If you were down in Florence, you did get a quick 10 minute downpour. All right, if you're a fan of fall like nights, well, I think you're going to enjoy the nights as we get towards the middle of the week. We are going to see overnight lows, especially in the burbs, down into the 50s. So quite refreshing before things start to warm up heading into the weekend. All right, here's the cool front tonight. It's a slow mover, so it's taking its sweet time getting down past the Ohio River until it clears our neck of the woods. We have have to keep the thread in there for a few showers. You can see how some flared up today, and if you look here tonight, there's still a cluster over in Illinois. Certainly these very well could track in our direction through the night tonight. So while not everyone will see rain, as you can see behind me here, radar is actually pretty quiet. I can't rule out the threat for some showers around the area, even while we sleep tonight. Shouldn't be a big deal at all. So let's discuss the rain threat. It's there, but low tonight. I think a better chance the first half of the day tomorrow because of the timing on this system. It's a little questionable. I may have to extend the threat for rain at least into the early afternoon hours before we clear things out completely tomorrow evening. Tuesday night, Wednesday, Thursday all look like beautiful time frames for us. So indeed, again, we are cooling things off. Highs will only get close to 80 the next few days before there's that warm up as we anticipate heading into the weekend back into the mid 80s out there. So future cast tonight shaping up like this here. You can see that batch of showers that was over in Illinois. It wants to bring it through here by morning. And again, the timing a little bit slower here, but not everyone will see rain tomorrow. So some of you will simply remain dry. Again, this is tried to slow down, at least delay the exit of the shower threat tomorrow. So we'll see how that plays out. If we get the showers uh, lasting or lingering a little longer, Highs tomorrow may not even make it to 80. Either way, tomorrow night it starts to clear out and we turn quite cool. So it's 72 outside right now. Most of us are generally within a couple of degrees of 70. 66 in Mount Orb, Mason's at 69, Hamilton 66, 72 out there in Batesville, and you're in the low 70s across much of the bluegrass. So 65 for an overnight low tonight. Mostly cloudy skies will keep the thread in there for a few showers, especially towards morning. Early showers and then a few more peaks at the sun in the afternoon. Breezy will top out around 80. Again, the timing is a little questionable, but certainly the first part of the day looks to be the wettest. I can't rule out based off what I'm seeing tonight that maybe a few showers try to linger a little deeper into the afternoon before we dry things out by evening. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Look at this down to 60. That's at the airport or here in the city in the burbs. You'll be in the 50s tomorrow night. It will be crisp, almost fall like nights here for the middle part of the week. And then you can see how temperatures do rise heading into the upcoming weekend, along with the corresponding threat for better rain chances as we get towards the end of the week in the weekend. Always some sort of challenge. All right, Kevin, thank you, but not too